Hello guys, hope I'm audible and visible. Uh, just let me know that first because this is my first time I am doing live YouTube streaming on my channel. So I'm not sure whether everything goes good or not. So do let me know. And this is going to be a completely open-ended discussion of uh, ask me anything. So any questions you have, any queries you have, please do put forward. I'll try to address your queries as much as possible. Good evening, Swati. And we'll have more YouTube sessions on academics as well, where I will be uh, conducting classes, which I, I was supposed to have a press pathology class today, which unfortunately didn't go through well. So I'll definitely do it uh, by next, uh, uh, tomorrow by 6 p.m. hopefully, if everything goes good. So this is an open session just to make sure everything from technically from my side is not uh, so bad and worse. So any questions you have regarding your preparation, regarding your uh, MBBS times or your need PG or INACT, anything, whatever you have in your mind, you can Ask me, I'll try to answer most of your queries. Hello, Viraj. Hope you're doing good. Uh, so let's start. So if you have any, any queries, do let me know. I'll just address it. And just to make sure everything goes well and uh, there's no problem in future. Okay, uh, Dr. M. Shashikant. Uh, MD Path in Gandhi Medical College Hyderabad is good. It is not a bad college to go with. But uh, for me as a career of a pathologist, I sincerely request you to go and have a look at the caseload of the college if possible and also the infrastructure so that's very very important when it comes to pathology a government college the top tier city government college obviously will be the first preference then i would put dnb as a better preference because of the equipments because of the advancements available in a hospital as opposed to a government medical college then i'll put in peripheral colleges that's my order of preference for md pathology right Thanks, Padma. Good evening. Okay. So, if you have any other queries, you can. You're more than happy. Welcome to ask questions. I'll try to reply as much as possible. So this will be my telegram group link. You can uh, ask me your queries there as well in future also. So if you have missed anything asking now, you can ask later on as well. Fine, I'll pin this message so that anyone who sees will be will be able to ask, ask your queries. Most welcome, Shashika. And I hope your exam preparation is going good. Uh, we are not yet sure. Okay, P, I think my volume is good from my side. Is the volume problem for everyone? Can you just let me know? If not, P, can you increase your volume uh, in your source? Uh, see, Swati, uh, for an entrance exam, I would always keep this for any entrance exam. Uh, it's not that you have to keep solving MCQs. For any entrance exam, the basic thing is going to be your uh, text. Right? If you're good in your concepts, obviously you're going to do very well in your exams. So four years of MBBS, I would say concentrate on the MBBS. Complete your anatomy, physiology, biochemistry at the same time and then do the rest of it. Right? So if you, once you have completed anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, maybe while revising or maybe you have, when you have a little bit of time, do solve a few MCQs. You need not always orient for an entrance exam to excel an entrance exam. If you know your subject properly, any day you are going to crack any entrance exam, any questions put forward to you. So do attend your clinics properly. That's very, very important. Because when you have a clinical scenario question, it's nothing but testing your diagnostic skills. When you go and sit in an OPD during your third year or final year, that hones your diagnostic skills. That will be extremely useful for an entrance exam. So just don't bunk clinics to read an MCQ books. This is my humble advice. Okay, Viraj, uh, need PG, how many questions are asked in pathology approximately? Uh, see, what I can tell is from the uh, blueprint, whichever has been released by NBE, right? So what generally happens is, uh, for the 300 question pattern is what they have released the blueprint, the part A, part B and part C. Once they shifted to 200 question pattern, NB or NMC didn't have a clear cut clarity on what's going to happen, right? So when it's going for 300 questions, it will be approximately 25 questions is for pathology. When it came to 200, in the past two exams, I would probably put it around uh, 20 questions approximately, give or take plus or minus two. That be the approximate uh, timeline for uh, approximate number of questions which can come in pathology. 
See, what has happened is since most of them are clinical scenario based questions, most of them are integrated questions. A clear cut distinction of what is pathology question, what is medicine question, or what is surgery question is difficult. So every faculty invariably claim it's from their subject. So I cannot clearly delineate whether it's directly from pathology or not. Last time when the exam came, when a question had a microscopic finding or an image in the question, then I would suggest that it's from pathology. Taking that into consideration, it was around 17 to 19 questions what came in the last need exam. Maybe probably I can expect the same this need exam as well. Right? Hope that clears it out, Viraj. Okay, Pavitra, uh, preparation strategy for an intern. I personally feel that the time during internship and immediately the first attempt after internship will be the best outcome for any entrance exam. Once you cross that time, the amount of uh, the diagnostic skills, I'm repeating the same thing, the diagnostic skills are very, very important for an exam as well. That kind of slows down, right? So if you're an intern, what I would say is, uh, when you see a case in your OP, let's take medicine you're, or a surgery, you're seeing a patient with a diabetic foot, take a tiny notepad, right? diabetic foot. Next, you're seeing a case of a hernia, right hernia. Examine the case. You're attending an OT. Please carefully watch, mindfully watch the OT, right? So once you've done that, you come home, two hours, take the topic of diabetic foot also, the treatment, the pathogenesis, symptom, everything, hernia, direct, indirect, anatomy, everything, try to cover that. If you have a very hectic posting or during internship, you will not be able to dedicate very uh, only for reading alone. So in this way, I saw a case in the morning or a surgery in the morning or an investigation lab report. I come and do that in the back end. So it takes care of the uh, gap. It's like dual revision. That will be the best preparation strategy for me as an intern. Okay. Uh, that's why I said, uh, Pavitra, one or two hours. That should be more than enough. Right? Okay, Swati, next. Uh, next is a dilemma. I would say it's more like, uh, it's, it's been there around for many, many time. Uh, NMC is not giving me a clear strategy on that. Because the first thing which came outside a couple of years back, that going to be a 540 exam questions after MBBS. After that, there was one more committee which happened with the undergraduate board, which said there will be three next exams, next one, two, next, next two, and next three. One at the end of second year, one at the end of final year, and one at post internship. After that, there's been no clarity. The next one, two, three exams, that meeting, it's six months after that meeting. So again, I'm not very clear, not just me. No one in this country is clear about the exam. So when I don't have any modest operandi of how it's going to happen, the only thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to be strong in my subjects. So whatever they're going to throw at me, I'm going to take care of it. See, uh, if you uh, take a good cricketer like Virat Kohli, right, he is still a good cricketer, Baba Rasam, any top cricketer, they are sticking to their basics. So be it T20 format, be it ODI, be it test match, they'll perform well. So once you stick to your basics, or in other words, you know your subject properly, don't worry about an exam pattern. Exam pattern changes, that's all. You still crack the exam, right? So there's no current trends. Do the same thing what you have been doing in medicine. Your seniors, what they have been doing in medicine, you can definitely excel. Uh, Viraj, uh, slides, I'll take that up here. See, for me, pathology slides as such, uh, investing time in sense, I would tell that invest time in understanding the slides, not just looking at the slide. Because it's not always the same slide which comes in the next exam. Might be something similar. So if you're having a slide of a few giga polyp, I would say learn few giga polyp. Learn how it looks like. So that's very important for me than anything else there, right? So do that. Just do invest slides, time in slides. But most important thing for any image-based question, not just pathology. Be it your physiology curves, lung volume curves, or be it medicine ECG or anything. I want you to be very, very perfect on history. From now on, any image-based question you solve, hide the image. See if you're able to solve the question in the history. That's required. That's what, that's what you are doing during internship. They do the same thing. So I would say that don't waste time on slides. Do see slides. Understand why it looks pink and blue, why it looks like this. That's more important for me than to memorize the slides. Uh, Ashutosh, uh, uh, you have asked two things. One is pathology and anesthesia uh, based on future job pros prospects, right? So one thing for me, I will not be the right person to comment on anesthesia. Maybe sometime in future, if I can get an anesthetist on board, I'll ask them to comment on what happens in anesthesia. 
for pathology i would say uh, see it's the low field here is saturated uh, most of the people who are talking about saturation the thing is uh, you might not get a job within 2 kilometers of your home that is difficult you might be required to relocate or maybe travel for 5 10 kilometers that's going to be there always right so keeping that in mind pathology as of now the job prospects will be either in a medical college you can join as an sr vacancies of sr available uh, if you take even in chennai there are available vacancies today as of today in pondicherry are available that's what my region which i know then you can go for labs specialists will be given a pay of 70 80000 most of the fields will be given a pay of 70 80000 only so beyond that Growing in pathology field does not require medicine skill alone. You need administrative talents also. That's true for most of the fields in medicine. Not just science will help you to go to the higher level. Once you are able to administer, once you are able to give a business strategy, then definitely you will go climb up the ladder. That's true for every field. Uh, anesthesia, I'm not sure. Pathology, as of now, yes, the jobs are available. But three years down the road, when you have passed out, I am not sure whether uh, that condition, no one can predict future, right? So I'll leave that open in it here for now. See, Swati, when I say revise pathology for second time, uh, I think you can use the same thing for revising any subject. Uh, open the textbook or open your notes. Categorize the things into three different things. Green, yellow and red. Green in sense, necrosis, right? Necrosis is, I know necrosis. I know fatty liver. Don't revise them. Something I'm not sure of, like necroptosis. Yeah, I know something, but I'm not sure of. Put some time. Read a new topic. Or I have left it during undergraduate. I didn't read them properly first time. So first concentrate on red. The difficult ones concentrate on that. Push it to yellow. And hopefully in the second revision, everything goes back to green and you can revise just in the back of your head. Uh, Ikra, yes, both of the lectures are same. The only difference might be in an academy, as of now, we don't have recorded lectures. We will be coming up with recorded lectures soon. Uh, but Randy or Pathology app will have more of recorded lectures only. An academy is more of live lectures. Uh, Anirudh, two months, second clock is huge, right? Uh, so I would want a suggestion from you, uh, a question, answer from you, first of all. Have you done it once? Have you read it once? If you have read it once, then two months is good enough time for you to revise. If you're reading for the first time, unfortunately, there's very, very less time. So I would say go with your university exam questions first, then kind of improve based on that. Uh, Nikhil Sharma, there is no lectures available as of now on the app because uh, since I moved to an academy, the lectures will be available on an academy only. Right? So it's difficult for now. In future, let's see if it comes out again. Okay, Tripul Islam. Tripul Islam. I hope I pronounced the name correctly. Okay, see, uh, neat or next, I don't know about it. No one in this country knows about it, so we'll leave it that for now. Right? Uh, when you're in service duty, one thing you say is the amount of time available will be less for you since you're in a service duty. Right? Notes will strengthen your concepts. If possible, listen to a video because video is passive learning. You can learn even when you're doing some work, not very concentrated work, some filling of some files, some documents. Yes, you can listen to it. Do that. QBank is active process of reading. QBank is a learning tool. So spend time more on QBank. That will kind of make sure you write, attempt the right questions. Fine. Okay. So I would say videos and notes for concepts and QBank just to make sure you don't repeat the mistakes. That's all. Uh, Swati, administrative skills uh, and business strategies in our field in the uh, sense, uh, see, let's take uh, just for an example, uh, you are, you've done your MD medicine and you are uh, seeing an OPD, right? you was in a hospital and the hospital pays you X amount of money. You've been in the hospital for three years and your experience grows. So you obviously will require the hospital to pay you 1.5X or 2X amount because you have improved. If you've been staying on a long time, you are improved in your academics, you have got experience as well. So from a business standpoint view, what I would think is, what do you bring to the hospital? This is the reality, right? So which means they'll ask you, okay, we are okay to give you 1.5x. Will you give me the return of the same? If I'm investing 50,000 rupees in you, for example, I would expect many more 50,000 back. That's how business works. 
and unfortunately healthcare in our country is predominantly business right so you have to tell ways how to monetize not in an unethical way give them ideas to promote the place give them idea you have your own social media place to page you reach uh, big, bigger persons that's what i mean by administrative skills um, business skills when i say administration how do you take care of your subordinates you are a staff nurse and uh, you you are a, a physician there and there are 10 staff nurses and you have to allocate what to come uh, or some of them is not doing their job properly because they have to report to you your patient suffered because of the staff nurse didn't do properly so how will you manage that so these are the administrative skills which you are talking about fine uh, alicia uh, md uh, final year is a bit difficult right uh, especially in pathology because it's voluminous i would say go to university previous year paper cover those topics first because theory exam is what most of them fear theory exam almost every person will pass in md final year in pathology practical exam go with the slide set which your seniors which your professors assistant professors have complete them maybe uh, take old uh, your old records from from the storage system see random cases that's how you have to prepare for md exam theory don't worry you will definitely do it on copat i'll uh, take it sometime later we'll see what to do for on copat i'll have classes here also for on copat in the in this uh, youtube channel right rahul uh, PG life in pathology, one, it's not an easy road uh, because the learning curve in pathology is extremely steep compared to any other thing. What I mean by extremely steep is when you take MD medicine, you already know history taking, you already know examination, you have to hone your protocol management. But in pathology, you don't know about anything about microscope, you don't know anything about crossing. So PG life, yes, it's going to be a bit steep. You have to be okay, you have to face that for sure. And it's a bit of a difficult thing because my learning curve is very steep, I'm starting from zero. Career opportunities, as I was saying, as of now, yes, there are available career opportunities for sure. But three years down the road, what will change? I am not, I cannot predict it, right? As of now, you come out of as a fresher. In any part of the country, even in metropolitan cities, you can get a job. It's not that you will not get a job. As I say, you might not get a job within two kilometers of your home, maybe five kilometers, ten kilometers, or maybe if you want a better prospect, you have to move to a second city. As of now, fine. Okay, uh, Isaac Jiren Matthews, uh, is it better to do a QBank after watching the videos or after learning the whole subject? See, as I said, QBank is a learning tool. If I was an aspirant, I would use QBank this way. Uh, let's say that I watched a video on necrosis apoptosis. I'll leave it today. I won't do the QBank today. Next day, I watched a video on inflammation. The next day, I would do the QBank on necrosis apoptosis. So one, I'm doing two things on this. I'm testing my memory, can it hold for an entire day and can it solve the next day? Second, next day when I solve it, I know the mistakes and I relearn the topic again, right? So it's, I did the same consecutively. Inflammation I did today, I'll do the QBank tomorrow for inflammation and learn from it. By doing this, it will work for me because of my learning methods. If it works for you, great, please go ahead and do that. Okay, Ruta Mehta, how to maintain the momentum of studies? Uh, attending a internship, being very, very attentive in your clinics, sitting in an OPD, diagnosing cases, writing investigations, assisting a surgery, and taking care of the ICU, if this is study, definitely you'll be better at this. If you're doing this perfectly normal, don't worry about an MCQ exam. All these are going to come in exams. So you are not leaving out of the medicine curriculum right you're still inside the medicine curriculum right so take care of that so as i said if you're seeing a patient of mi come back and uh, do mcqs or read the notes what you've prepared for mi that's the right way ideally to go with and during internship right uh, but see, um, see as of now there is not much of a craze for dm oncopathology in the private hospitals if you have fellowship they are more than happy to engage you as an oncopathologist. But in future, I'm not sure what will happen. If you ask me today, fellowship is enough because I said uh, it's not the bond, the duration of the course is very, very important in a DM. Uh, it will take lots of time, right? So I would prefer fellowships. That's more than enough and uh, divulge, see more cases and practice with confidence. That's more than enough as of now for an oncopathology. 
it's not like how many percentage of questions should be correct at the first reading. You don't have that thing at all. Right? Completely ignore that. After first reading, you have to get more number of questions correct. Come back to the previous time. That's your final ultimate up, right? You read once, you have to do it better. If you are making mistakes, learn from the mistakes. When you revise once, you do better. You have to keep your previous performance as the gold standard. Don't compare with the topper. Don't compare with your friend. You improve your graph. Ultimately, you will win the exam. Don't worry about anything else, right? Okay, uh, Islam, uh, solving QBank is going slow. See, because that's what I said. QBank is an active process of learning. It will go slow. Don't worry about it. Let it go slow. It's completely fine. Go slow. It's fine. Learn from them. If you have your notes, please add the points to the notes and read again. That's all. So QBank is a learning curve. It will be slow only. Don't try to hurry up and finish the QBank. Just for the sake, I've completed it. If you're going slow, you're on the right path. Please continue the same. Okay, JJ, how to handle relationship during preparation? One, if your girlfriend or boyfriend is also preparing, support each other. That's very important. If they are not in the medical field or if they are not preparing, please talk to them that this is what is doing. This kind of important phase of my life. I will not be able to dedicate much time. At the same time, don't ignore them because personal happiness is more important than an exam. I am sure at least, let's say, 15% uh, of the time in a day, you will spend on Netflix or Amazon, right? right? That half an hour, that one hour, talk to the person who is worried about you. In that way, that's definitely worthwhile. You can definitely take care of things, right? So handling a relationship is not at all a problem in a exam time or during any time. Just give the attention and the time which they rightfully require. Uh, Nidhi, uh, practical books, I would want you to go to the protocols of WHO. That's one thing which is very, very important. Uh, Hemat, the techniques, that's important. Uh, this practical books as such for me, I would say, uh, look at the slides from your professors collected or from your previous records. Uh, Vijit, that is not available as of now since I have moved to an academy. Right, so that's what I said. Uh, you can go with uh, an academy classes. The recorded session of an academy will be out soon. So hopefully that will help you as well. Uh, Jaren, uh, mastering histology slides. First, we have to master the history. If it's a spotter, spotters are easy. If it's a slide which is uh, related to your, let's say, an, uh, the, uh, diagnosis. So try to diagnose them with the help of history and not based on the slide alone. That's the best way to master historical slides. And when you read an historical slide, don't look at the image. Just see why the image looks like that. Maybe learn something from that. That will help you. Fine. Uh, Mr. Jain, yes, line session I'll do, uh, uh, explain with an example. For sure, I don't have the iPad set up today. So whenever I have the iPad uh, set up, I will definitely uh, give with an example. All the queries which you are asking regarding your, uh, your uh, theoretical part, the pathology part, I'll handle whenever I take live classes. Tomorrow, hopefully, my live class of breast pathology should go good. At that time, definitely at the end, I'll take your unfavorable line decision or your calculation factor or your uh, CD markers. A uh, CD marker, there's a video on um, pre-sale journey, right? So try to uh, learn that video. Uh, watch the video. It's available free on the Anacademy app. app. So just go at once. Uh, once you are able to learn the B-cell journey, CD markers, at least for B-cell lymphoma, might not be a difficult thing, right? Okay. Um, there are lots of doubts. I'll go a little bit faster because there are more people who are asking the doubts. Uh, Rohit, uh, if you have just few topics left, yeah, I would say wait for the uh, recorded lectures. It'll come outside. Since you have one more year left, I think it'll, it'll not be much of a problem for you to wait for some more time, right? And if you have an unacademy subscription, definitely you can watch that. Uh, Vedanti, it, uh, since I moved to an academy, I couldn't continue that. Um, let's 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 try and see if there's any way possible in future to co collaborate with an academy. 
if that's there, I, I make sure it's available for postgraduate at least. Alicia, definitely true. Uh, for a postgraduate, if I assume you're a final year postgraduate, right? Uh, it's worth seeing John Hopkins or your Leaves or there are lots of virtual pathology platforms. See them, that's completely fine because it's an experience for you. It'll be helpful for you to diagnose new cases in future. Uh, AR, as of now, I think it's available. They, you can attempt need clin DM clinical hematology in need assess if you're a pathologist. But I'm not sure what has come in this uh, recent prospectus. Last year it was available. This year I hope it's available. In future, I'm not sure about it. Uh, PKM, don't worry. No one, no one who is reading in post internship, who is reading for an exam, who is even going to score the top rank in the next exam, will be in the same scenario as you are, because you cannot remember everything. It's humanly impossible for you to remember everything. So please don't be hard on yourself. It's completely fine. If you forget, it's fine. If you forget, read again. More the time you read, more the time you more duration you will remember. That's all. In GTs, if you're making a mistake now, and if you read them, if you analyze them, if you read them again, you will not say, make the same mistake in the main exam. The only reason to asking you to practice more is that because more mistakes I make, the chance of making mistakes will come become less in the main exam, right? So don't worry about it at all. Everyone forgets. Don't worry about it. Uh, Swati, medicine and path integration properly is the uh, when you are reading, if you're reading Harrison, you are in third year, right? So when you're reading Harrison, I would say, read the first half of Harrison till the page where your clinical symptoms and the protocol comes from pathology books. Don't read from Harrison. Because Harrison's first half starts with physiology, goes with pathology, then goes to clinical medicine. So you already know the first half of any topic, start from the second half. So that you're going to read from the first half from pathology books, physiology books and rest of the practical medicine from medicine and the best way to read Harrison or any of the uh, Alicia there's a book called Kautalkar that's good for clinical pathology for postgraduates uh, Henry is very very voluminous if you can select a topic read from Henry uh, Mr. Jane if you're in a second year um, I would say Reading line to line is not important for me. What I would say is you have to read a topic. You have to understand what happens in the disease. If that is sure, it doesn't matter even if you forget everything. I know every spherocytosis. This is how it works. That's all. Even if I don't remember line to line, I can diagnose a patient. I can ask for the investigation. In microscope, I can take care of it. I can take care of the complication. Any disease for me, clinical symptoms is important. How to suspect is important, how to confirm is important, how to treat is important. If you can take care of this, that's enough. You need not read line to line at all. Okay, if this year is also possible, great. A nickel pathology class of mine as of now will be available in the Unacademy app. Um, so you can go with that. So I can take a separate uh, live for how to analyze GTs. Uh, thank you, Ayar. Uh, uh, PGI goes. As a pathology, see uh, the scope as I was discussing is as of now, it's good. You will get jobs if you pass today. The last people who passed, I know quite a few of them were placed. There's no dearth of jobs for now, but three years or four years down the road, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what will happen. That no one can predict. I don't think so. Any doctor in our country at any point of time will be jobless. You might have to relocate to some other place or to move to some second tier city or maybe in the same city in to one other corner of city that will be required apart from that it's decent for now in future really i don't uh, that's the uh, plan Ashlina. Uh, there are a few things to take care of once that's done i'll definitely do that life in a great moment no uh, see my lecture cannot replace robins any day the simplest reason for that is robins is not written by one dr vinay kumar Every chapter of Robbins has been contributed by 10, 15 people and single person. I cannot and I will not and I can never ever replace any textbook. It's always Robbins. This is this I am very, very sure about it because I don't want to mislead you at all. If you're in second year, if you're in third year, if you're in final year, if you're a postgraduate, if you're after your PG, 
no pathology the gold standard book is robins no one in this country or in the world can replace that book right no one in this country or in the world can replace any textbook because the textbook is not written by a single person it's written by at least 100 to 200 people who are specialized in their, their own perspective right thank you Jay. Uh, detective story active nice claim first of all strategy in final year students uh, in final year already you are going to have a hectic timeline right your medicine surgery og pediatrics will definitely already crumple you so i'll say take care of that take care of that complete that if you want to put a little bit of effort more effort and if you can when you read medicine read a little bit of like let's say you're reading about bronchic disease open robins read something about bronchic disease right or you're reading about a diabetes open tripathi read about insulin that's the only way you can go ahead and do it but because final year is already hectic i don't want to overburden you and uh, uh, that's going to be futile for everyone right uh, which is dm oncopath will definitely have scopes it's not going to be there'll be no scope right it'll it you will definitely have um, because oncology is increasing number of cancers are increasing and we need definitely more about uh, more diagnostic persons towards cancer dm versus fellowship as of now i prefer fellowship because it's a shorter duration you can come out and practice soon there'll be no bonds so that's the only reason i prefer fellowships okay rohit fine see it's not about the volume of information right so as I was saying, uh, you need not know everything to tackle it. Let's assume for an example, you have uh, learnt apoptosis. Let's say that that's one hour video of apoptosis. You know everything about apoptosis, right? Close the eyes, revise. It's more than enough. You can, you need one or two minutes to revise them. I go in deep to explain every topic for the only reason it becomes easy for you to understand. Once you understand, the dependency on the video or the dependency on the notes should go away. So the first reading, please spend time and read. Just don't memorize the notes. Understand why this happens. Once you form the link, it's very, very simple to revise. Maybe do one thing. You take any random topic, ping me on your telegram, what topic you're going to take, right? And then I will see what to do uh, with, with that, right? I'll tell you how to read so that all the notes support become a little bit less. First lab as of now will not be available. See, first aid is a very good source, but I'm not sure what your first and second year in the sense. Are you in your first year and second year of MBBS? If you're in first and second year of MBBS, I would say first aid is not the thing. Go with textbooks. Read textbooks. First aid is a tool for entrance exam for USMLE. If you're going to attempt need PG, first aid might be a bit complicated, that's all. Because that's not required for, it's not related to my pattern as of now. If you're preparing for MLE, yes, please go ahead with first aid. That will perfectly match your MLE pattern and it will help you in solving new world questions as well. Uh, JR, I'll def uh, for pathology JR, how to go ahead with the first year, second year, third year books, I'll come live once again. I'll uh, try to uh, handle them. Uh, due to shortage of time, I might cut short now. Uh, just, just for me to see if my stream is going good or not. Uh, hopefully tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'll um, start with breast pathology lectures here and I'll try to continue at, as and when it's possible. Fine. I'll try to take classes for PGs as well as UGs in the YouTube channel. What do you mean by DNB scenario? See, structure difficulty is not a problem. If you're good in your skills, you can pass DNB. But yes, there are few rude examiners. That's part and parcel of the examiner. It's not a pa pa problem with the board, right? Uh, job prospective. In regards with pathology, after DNB, it's not much different from MD pathology. It's just the government jobs might be a bit difficult, that's all. Uh, Prince, uh, let's see, it's fine if, if you have seen the lectures, if you have written down the notes, that should be more than enough for you to handle the university exam. I hope that will help for you in the university exam as well, right? Uh, Karthik, as of now, my app is not working. Uh, you have to take an academy subscription. Uh, Pashkupta MCQ book, see, uh, 
if you are still aligned with books those older mcq books still have good amount of one liners which are not been asked in the current scenarios that's all that's my only differencing point of view otherwise it's a good book good collection of mcqs are available in the book uh, maybe read out the one liners alone because those questions doesn't come pga exam is gone so i don't have a multiple choice option so those are things that are written in there Yeah, uh, see, I'm not against Harsh Mohan. Right? As I said that, I answered the previous question itself. Harsh Mohan, Dr. Harsh Mohan is a single person. He cannot replace Robbins, which has been written by 100, 200 people. Likewise, I cannot replace Robbins. No single doctor in this country cannot, can replace a textbook which is an amalgamation or knowledge of 200 efficient professors. So that's my only different point of opinion. If I read a book which is the thought process of 200 people, I'm going to have 200 different thought process. But if I read Hashmogan book, which is an outcome of one person, I would say for a growth perspective, I would prefer Robbins any day more than Hashmogan or than any book available in the market, which is written by a single person. Uh, Vijit, I have few classes in uh, an academy for PGs. I'll try to uh, host few more classes in this YouTube channel. I'll categorize them as lectures for PGs, so it'll be useful for you to go through it. Right? And go Terminator. Another super specialty is available for many many things in pathology. Right? It's available for your uh, oncopath. It's available for your uh, hemat. There are a few things for Saito, Nephro, CNS. There are lots of things available in pathology as well. Uh, Mohit, six months is a bit of short time. I am sure that you would have never, it's not like that you never read before, right? You must have read before for sure. So with that, watch the videos, whichever application you have, go to the videos because six months, the only thing I can do for 19 subjects is go with any of the coaching institute because of the time, that's all. If time is not a problem, I will still say go the textbook. If the time is a problem, any coaching institute will make it shorter for you and will make it easily palatable for you. That's all. That's the only thing. Whatever you have, stick to one source and please follow that. Our uh, Robin's MCQ review book is a very, very good source. Please go with that unknown guy. Ah, uh, Arkadipta, you're in second year, right? If you're in second year, Complete your uh, problems. Ignore about the questions. Uh, like unknown guy said, there's an MCQ book review based on Robin's pathology. That's a very good source for scenario-based question. If possible, solve that. The book is available freely on internet for download option. Please download and solve that. That's a very very good book for scenario-based need or next whatever is there. Right? But if you're a second year MBBS student, I would say the first and the foremost thing: please complete Robin's, read Robin's. Based on that. All the videos which you are saying is going to help you to read Roberts. It should help you to read Roberts. Right? Uh, Ganesh, I'm not, I'm neither a pulmonologist nor a general medicine person, so I'll not be the right person to comment on that. Maybe if someone is available uh, in future, if someone is ready to help me out in the channel, I'll definitely ask a pulmonologist or a general medicine person to give an opinion on that. Right? Mind will never be calm, so don't try to tame it. Mind is supposed to be wild, right? It's fine, let it be wild. If you're having weird thoughts, if you're having disturbing thoughts, go for a walk, come back, sit and read. Talk to your mother, talk to your friends, come back, sit and read. Let the mind be the same it, like it is, it is, right? That's more than enough. Ignore everything else. Mind will be wild. If you try to control the mind's thought, mind will think more. That's how the CNS functions. Well, if it's distracted, just go for a walk. Talk to your mother. Talk to your friends. If you have siblings, talk to your siblings. Come back and read. Or eat food. Come back and read. Right. Right. Uh, so thank you for your time. I think I will cut this live session now. And hopefully by tomorrow at 6 p.m. everything goes good. We'll start with breast pathology tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have a breast pathology part one i'll try uh, AK, uh, mr jane i'll also try to cover the linearization topic there the telegram loop link 
uh, of my group is pinned in this uh, chat. If you have any doubts in your text or any time, you can ping me in the group. I'll try to uh, help you. Right? Thank you. Thank you.